Now, you played with LeBron for how many years? Five. Five years. Yeah. Um, what do you think, you know, being around LeBron on that level, what do you think makes LeBron LeBron? I think that <clears throat> players like that, they got they all, they they all have a gift that everybody ain't got. Everybody ain't six nine and run that fast and jump that high. But also, most of those guys have a drive that most people don't know about. You know what I mean? So that's what I learned from watching Bron. Like I would always try to be the one that would be the first one there. But I'm competing with him, and he already the best player in the world. You know what I mean? That just goes to show you um, the type of player he is, and that's what. That's what I learned most from him. Like no matter how much talent you got, if you got, if you ain't willing to put the work in, then everybody will catch up to you. So you think that LeBron just works harder than everybody else? Yeah. People say that about Kobe too. Yeah. I think those guys have a fear of, of being average. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, that's interesting. A fear of being average. Yeah. They don't want nobody to, to, to even think that they can can match them. You know what I mean? And so I think once you put the work in. Like that, that kind of work, it breeds confidence because you know you've been in the gym and you know you've been working. So you just get out there mm -hmm. and do it and play free. You add that with the gifts and nothing can stop it. So you were on the team when he, when he left Cleveland. Yeah. What was the effect on Cleveland <laughs> when, LeBron, when LeBron left? The effect on the city. Whew. Like, I felt it for them, you know what I'm saying? Like, they was in the streets, you know, burning jerseys and <laughs> flipping cars. It was real. They were flipping cars. It was real out there. Like, it was, it was like, literally, like, a riot, almost. And um, I think I think they had a right, you know what I mean, to be upset about it. Why is that? Just because, you know, he's, he's from there, and, you know what I mean, like, we had a chance every year to win the championship. Cleveland's never won one, you know what I mean? So yeah. it was just, and the city is kind of, you know, <clears throat> one of those, what they call it, lunch pail cities. Like they go to work every day and they earn, they living. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know, when he left, like, it kind of took the fire out of the city. They, that was who they had to be proud of. Like he had the big mural on the side of the building, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so, um, but I don't think that they, would take the time to think about it from the business aspect of it. Like, if I was to get traded, they're not going to, you know what I mean, tell me three, four, five weeks in advance, you know what I'm saying? They're just going to ship me off, and I got to go figure it out. And so he had the same, the same type of authority. I mean, he can make that same type of move mm -hmm. on his own, and he just chose to leave. So, but What was the effect on the actual team, though, not having LeBron there? I mean... <clears throat> I was just mad at Bernie because he ain't give us no time to get nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, didn't give yeah, that like, I mean, six you, month notice. <laughs> yeah, we got, I mean, you the best player in the world. We got to get something. Like, we didn't get, when, when he left, we didn't have a chance to go into free agency or make no deals or nothing. So we just had to just fill Bernie's spot with whatever we had. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that's kind of tough. Do you, do you feel any sort of, you know, just just for for fairness sake, did you feel that the owners could have done more, you know, to have kept him there by building up the team, by putting more money to get better players and so forth? You know what I mean? No, so I guys, wouldn't say that because because Dan Gilbert, I feel like, is one of the, the best owners in the league. Like, he don't, he has he spin it because he want to see the city win. He put, he changing the floor every, I mean, every, every year. He... Okay renovating the, the stadium, you know what I mean? He go and get players for him, you know what okay. I mean? I just think it was just, the timing just wasn't right, you know what I mean? And so, you know, he went and did what he had to do. And now he back. Hey, we went to Miami, he won two championships. Mm -hmm. He went, you know, went to the finals four times, right? Mm -hmm. um, how surprised were you that he's coming, that he came back to Cleveland? <laughs> like, I was hella surprised. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, I actually, I was surprised. But I just feel like for him, it, that's another opportunity for greatness, and that's what I think he's driven by. You know what I mean? So, to I, I can't say that there's been anybody else to ever do that to go win a ship and then come back to a city and <sighs> quiet as kept. They probably one of the favorites in the East now. I mean, any team he on gonna be the favorite, right? In whatever team. But so, so you think they're going to the finals this year? 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I would say that. Because I think not just him, my little brother on that team too, I don't think everybody has gotten an opportunity to really see him mm-hmm. rock it. So they kind of see him in the USA. Kyrie is a, he another one of them just <laughs> yeah. blessed, blessed for no reason. Just. People, I mean, a lot of people say that maybe not this year, but they see in the next couple of years, Cleveland start winning championships. That, 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 that's what I've heard. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I always say, <clears throat> I mean, now, there, there was kind of a debate, you know what I mean, as yeah. far as Kobe and KD and all that. But when it comes to all-around player, he's the best player in the world. So he has an opportunity to win a championship every year. It just depends on, you know, luck, depends on circumstance, coaching, how they come together. But mm-hmm. I feel like he, whatever team he on, got a shot at it. 